The particular event that led to Vincent founding the Vincentian community was a mission he was asked to conduct in the countryside in France in the winter of 1617. It was a particularly harsh winter by all accounts and Vincent was very taken aback by the condition of the people to whom he was sent to minister in that particular winter. He found they had very great physical needs and they also had very great spiritual needs. And Vincent was concerned to try and meet both sets of needs because he realised that the two can't really be separated. And it was in fact his way of expressing the commandment of Jesus in the Gospel that to love God and to love one's neighbour is the greatest commandment of the law. The Vincentian community is spread all over the world. We're divided into provinces which coincide with national boundaries but not always. The the province of Ireland of the Vincentian community is in Britain and in Ireland. We have seven houses, two in London and five in Ireland, one in Belfast and the others in Dublin. And we run two parishes, one in Finsborough in Dublin and the other in a place called Mill Hill in London. We have another few ministries as well. We work with priests in formation and afterwards, and we still uh, conduct parish missions, but not as frequently as in the past. A lot of our members are quite old as well, so that's a, a ministry in itself, looking after our older confreres. We have deep faith. What Jesus says in the Gospel holds true, that to love God and to love one's neighbour is the greatest commandment of the law. And that's wonderfully expressed by one of the great saints in the early church, Saint Irenaeus, who said, the glory of God is the human person fully alive. And to be someone who works for the gospel, you have to take both the human and the spiritual, the divine as it were, into account at the same time. There's no point in preaching to somebody, for example, if that person is starving or hurt or sick in some way and you don't attempt to address that need. The hunger for the gospel has changed in, in recent years, particularly in Europe, and addressing the spirituality of people is not as straightforward as it used to be. But bearing witness to the gospel, bearing witness to the values of the faith, that's a great challenge in the culture we live in today. But we do it with enthusiasm because the values of the gospel are, are about what builds up the human person and builds up the human person because we believe that person is made in the image of God. And that's what Jesus saw, particularly in people who are in poverty or who are in illness. In the religious culture of Jesus' time, those things were seen as a curse or in some way revenge on the part of God for sins in a person's life or in the life of his forebears or her forebears. But Jesus actually said, blessed are the poor in spite of their poverty. And that's what we hold to today. We've been working with other branches of the Vincentian family um, since our beginning, Vincent de Paul at the same time, roughly, as he founded the community to which I belong, also founded the Daughters of Charity and what's now called the International Association of Charity. So the Vincentian family has been collaborative from the beginning. Today, we work with the Daughters of Charity still. We work with Holy Faith Sisters. We work especially with groups like the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. And in recent years, two new branches of the Vincentian family have had us work closely with them as well. That's DePaul Ireland, which is a group that works with homeless people, and also the Vincentian lay missionaries who work uh, mostly in Ethiopia at the moment. And one of my colleagues has been working there and has founded a school for deaf 
children in a place called Ambo in Ethiopia. In fact, work with the deaf has been one of the cornerstone uh, works of the community almost since the Vincentians arrived in Ireland in the 1830s.